I'm Smita Singh from Amrita School of Engineering, Bangalore. I'm the workshop coordinator here. We are extremely honored to have amongst us Professor Gayatonde and Professor Chandrasekharan for the validatory function. I would now, uh, on behalf of Amrita School of Engineering, I would now like to welcome uh, Professor Chandrasekharan and Professor Gayatonde to the stage, please. We welcome you, sir. Now I would like to invite Professor Gaitunde to introduce our chief guest. It's my pleasant duty to introduce my teacher, colleague and friend, Professor V.S.C. or V.S. Chandrasekhar. I think for introduction I need to go back about 44 years, more than 44 years, July 1969, when our world lines first crossed each other. Coalist. I was a student in uh, Applied Mechanics or Engineering Mechanics course at IIT Bombay and he was my teacher. At that time we had a very solid course of four hours a week, three lectures and a tutorial for two semesters. And I think all of you are familiar with uh, the book by Shames, Irving Shames on Engineering Mechanics. That book was taught to us and we absorbed it and enjoyed it cover to cover and he is a witness for that because he was my teacher. I later on became a teacher myself and looking back, uh, you know, it turns out that there are a few subjects which goad you on, keep your interest on in engineering. Although I was in thermal engineering, took interest in thermodynamics, heat transfer and energy conversion of the non-thermal engineering courses, the few which still remain at the back of my mind and I look back with very fond memories as engineering mechanics course. Uh, Professor Chandrasekharan had joined IIT Bombay in 1966 after doing his BE from uh, NIE in Mysore. Uh, later he went to Liverpool and did his PhD. I think throughout his career he was in IIT Bombay, became head of department of civil engineering, uh, then dean planning for one term. He is a geotechnologist, geotechnical engineering, that is his specialization. And one of his very significant contributions to not only IIT Bombay but to India is that he set up the first geocentrifuge in India, the national geocentrifuge facility. Okay. At that time I did not know, I could not even imagine that 44 years down the line, in some other way, our world lines will again coalesce, we will meet and I will bring him here for this valedictory function. Okay. So may I again say that we are more than pleased to have him here and now I look forward to his valedictory address, Professor Chandrasekhar. Professor Gaitonde and head of the department of Amrita School of Technology and friends. It gives me great pleasure to connect with you in, in the form of valedictory function. I go back to my old days of teaching students. Engineering analysis depends heavily on engineering mechanics. That's one of the reasons this engineering mechanics course is included in many of the disciplines like civil engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautical. Now I learned in Amrita school everybody takes it. Now this program is timely because of the useful 
this in, you are of the usefulness of the course and the connection with the large number of institutions. The program has very really lofty goals. It does it wants to train the teachers. And that is a great responsibility. Training the teacher is a great responsibility. And I am amazed that about more than 7,000 teachers across the length and breadth of the country with some 200 art centers are now simultaneously interacting with respect to this program. This is really mind-boggling. I have thought of, I have conducted some courses, ISTU courses, just some 30 participants or 50 participants at the most used to come in a summer. Now this time you are connecting with 7,000. That's really mind-boggling. The other point which I want to make is the responsibility this course puts on the course instructors is very high because whatever we do is transmitted to so many people and everybody is listening. Now in this connection, the course instructors have a very heavy responsibility and the course coordinators, center coordinators, have got a responsibility which is very, very high. Now, I must congratulate all of you, the course coordinator, Dr. Inamdar, Dr. Banerjee, for coming forward to conduct this program and the coordinating at the various centers and also the course coordinators in Amrita Institute of Technology and also the various centers have done a tremendous job. This is really to be complimented and congratulated. My best wishes to you on this. Now, real life engineering is something different. We originally, we tried to model the real life problems into mechanics problems and seek the solution through the mechanics. The first step involved is the mechanics problem. Actually, the students are stimulated when you deal with real life problems. The responsibility of the teacher is to translate the real life problem into simple mechanics problem and then get a solution to that using principles of mechanics. Of course, the principles of mechanics are not many and it is easily understood. But then, one must follow a logical steps. There are what is known as three Ds. First is data, data for the problem. Second is the desired results. What are the results you want out of the problem? These two steps constitute what is known as the formulation of the problem. Always, yeah, you would have read, I think I know of one Professor McLachlan who says that if you define the problem, if you formulate the problem correctly, what is available, what is to be obtained, then half the problem is solved. The rest of the problem lies in solving the equations and getting the results. Now, we follow a few steps. After this, three Ds. First is data, second is desired results. Third, we talk about diagrams. Engineers must have a feel for diagrams, must define the problem in the form of sketches, drawings, then only they will get the grip of the problem. And then, of course, one should write down the equations that are applicable to the problem. And that is uh, governing equations for the problem. And then, of course, one obtains an analysis of the problem, one obtains the results. Then, of course, the results itself has to be interpreted. It has to, one has to interpret the results. And that is the conclusions. So, the 
all the professors insist in engineering mechanics that you should follow these steps very nicely and you should make it a point to teach the students you follow these steps and you are bound to get at the solution of course the following the steps there is also a saying that you should nicely write down the steps write your notes or your solution to the problem should be neatly laid out in a piece of paper because this helps the you know further insight into the problem now actually we would have known when you are correcting examination papers you what i do you i used to do is get the best students paper and keep it aside and have a look at that always all the good students have systematically approached the problem and solved the problem even by looking at it you feel like going good marks and that that is a habit you have got to inculcate this habit and the engineers definitely require it because the bridges you you solve today are going to be constructed tomorrow and we need depend on the safety of those bridges for under various conditions and then i when i was the learning engineering mechanics this was taught to be by mathematicians we didn't have a course in engineering mechanics we had a course in statics we had a course in particle and rigid body dynamics both conducted by mathematics mathematics department luckily it turned out our teacher for this course was exceptional and outstanding you wouldn't believe that we bunk these classes for the first few first few days because he didn't have a good english accent and he didn't dress up properly he came in panchakacham and a dhoti and a cap on top and i was not impressed we have got into engineering college and then we should be should we be taught by this gentleman with panchakacham and cap but my seniors told me please give this give a chance to him and try to attend a a week's class well i went to the first class i felt a little better the second class still better third class i was simply attracted mesmerized not only me so all of us but time used to fly fast in his class the class ends and then we used to feel i sit over that was the spell he cast on us in 57 1957 and russia launched the sputnik he was quick to solve the problem on the blackboard saying these are all the parameters trajectory geometry and also the the period of uh, orbit we were amazed that was not in our syllabus he said it is straight forward you can yourself do it and then he went on and put it on the board and we were really mesmerized and see m- most of us are not gifted gifted as a good teacher but we can train ourselves to be good teachers now in teaching there are first we should know the uh, students mind and start from the beginning i had ventured to teach my son matrix multiplication when he was in the 11th standard or 12th standard and i had made an attempt i told him how to get the matrix matrix product by taking the row elements and multiplying with the column elements and putting putting in aij he was listening to me very patiently and then he left me and then went and told his mummy that appa doesn't know what is row and column he didn't tell me that and he assumes that uh, i should learn it so i see what is the what is really intriguing the students mind is something which we don't know we should get at it yes this is a, this is what we should start with 
And that will go a long way in trying to make you a good teacher and a better communicator. Another point which I want to ask, tell you is, not only you should teach the student the subject, how to learn the subject. It is called the learning skill. It is said that the student should be encouraged to revise the class notes on the same evening or the earliest opportunity. First revision is as soon as you go home or the next morning, you should revise what you were taught in the class. Then, after two days, one more revision. After a week, another revision. The researchers find this kind of study stays in your mind forever. You don't have to rush to prepare for the examination because you have already done it and instilled, it, instilled the principles in your mind in a very, when your uh, mind was very clear and very uh, in the earliest occasion. And you also have an opportunity of putting these doubts in a paper and get clarification from the teacher in the next class. Because next class he will ask you, what are, have you got any doubts? You are not prepared and you have no courage to raise the doubts. And this lecture, next lecture is started. This time you can tell you, you can raise your doubts. But you should also tell the, this learning skills to the student because it, simpl it simplifies his job very uh, enormously. Our, Kel our director was there, one professor, director, Professor Kelker. He said, we were all teachers, he was, he was addressing us in a hall, don't concentrate on covering the syllabus. You are not meant for that. You concentrate on uncovering the subject. That will go a very long way in teaching the students at IIT. Now this is applicable to everybody. There is no need to rush and cover the syllabus. You should really instill the principles and fundamentals in the minds. This course attempts, has attempted to do it. My great compliments to Dr. Inamdar and Dr. Banerjee for venturing to teach this course in the nationwide uh, way and I hope that you will all give your feedback. It's very important because the feedbacks, you can, you, all of you will have, each one of you will have some point to say that it must be collected in the center and then you can put it together. There are common issues, you can remove it and then put, uh, collect it, collate it and send it to IIT Bombay. They will definitely take that into mind before bringing out their final version. Again, thank you all for participating in this program and thank you for giving me an opportunity to share with you my thoughts with regard to this program. Thank you. And now I think history repeated itself when you taught me because when your teacher taught you the Sputnik was launched and maybe he taught you Kepler's laws and things like that. Our course started just after July 1969. Neil Armstrong had just landed Apollo 11 on the moon and lo and behold during the course of uh, our applied mechanics Professor Chandrasekhar very lucidly explained the derivation of Kepler's laws. And mind you, that is a derivation which I still enjoy. If I find myself absolutely isolated somewhere with a few pieces of paper, I will kill my time by rederiving those. And that's a beauty of a derivation. Anyway, thank you Professor Chandrasekhar, Chandrasekharan for uh, quickly agreeing to being the valedictory uh, function chief guest. And uh, also a great pleasure for us to have you here. Uh, may I also thank 
uh, Amruta School of Engineering at Bangalore to agree to our request to conduct this valedictory, part of the valedictory function from here. And now as a token of gratitude, may I present this memento from the team at IIT Bombay and also Amruta is helping us out with this to Professor Chandrasekharan. Thank you very much, Amrita. Uh, we would now like to request the uh, faculty here to share their thoughts with us. Uh, Professor Inamdar, would you begin, please? Paul, uh, I feel great hesitation to add anything after that uh, wonderful and insightful uh, brief talk by Professor Chandrasekharan. Uh, though I was a student at IIT Bombay, uh, when he was still a faculty uh, here, I unfortunately uh, did not uh, take any course from him and I still regret today that, uh, that I did not have any course being taught by Professor Chandrasekharan. However, I feel uh, greatly honored that he spoke so kindly about our effort. Uh, so thank you Professor Chandrasekharan. I would also like to thank uh, the T10 uh, team, uh, Professor Fatak, uh, Dr. Mukta Atre, Sushant Sajjan and all the technical staff for taking care of a lot of logistics of this uh, workshop. Second of all, uh, I would like to thank my co-instructor, uh, Professor Shobik Banerjee for uh, sharing such a great uh, synergy. So together, okay, we could uh, really nicely synchronize and decide on what topics to take and how to deliver them. So I am uh, quite grateful to him that uh, he was there by my side okay, to, and that we could together okay, deliver these lectures. Additionally, I also like to uh, compliment and thank the participants for being so patient for the last 10 days. Uh, so the last 10 days and, and many days before that, okay, it was extremely hectic for us okay, because we had to cover almost two semester worth of syllabus essentially in 10 days. Okay. So we had to really decide what to cover, what not to cover, prepare a lot of material, brush our concepts, keep learning ourselves. Okay. So we had been trying to do that. Of course, there, there may have been a lot of shortcomings in this workshop. We are all learning. So kindly post your feedback and from the feedback that we hear from you, we we'll like to uh, improve ourselves. So what uh, I feel personally is that, that every time I teach a course, the most important thing I want from that course is to learn something for myself, get some excitement out of it and to convey that excitement to the students or the participant, uh, participants who are undergoing that lecture. I hope that whatever excitement I have felt for this subject, okay, at least a fraction of that has reached to you and some of you have been benefited from that. If there is something I said was not proper, if some uh, things you felt could have done in a better way, I would like to hear from you. And again, I would like to thank you for being such uh, patient participants. Okay. With this, okay, I would pass on the mic to Professor Banerjee. Okay. Again, I don't have uh, you know, anything more to add than what uh, my colleague just uh, shared. And I was also a student of IIT Bombay and Professor Chandrasekhar uh, was also here. But unfortunately, again, uh, being a structural engineer, I could not take any course from him, but you know, he was probably you know, the best teacher that our department had so far. Uh, so thank you, sir, for being here today for us. And now I would really seriously want to thank all the coordinators, especially uh, to begin with, because you know, five days we had this coordinator workshop where we really bombarded you with lot of you know, interactive and stimulating sessions, hopefully. We do not know yet that whether those are actually stimulating or interacting. But thank you all for being patient. And thanks to all those you know, odd 7,000 or more participants who have been really patient and listening to us. And I was really talking to Mandar that uh, whether we are really able to deliver anything through this kind of you know setup that we have and i was you know all the time kind of afraid that uh, whether you are able to hear us or not you know all the time you know we are like in a, uh, a situation like uh, live camera and action you know uh, that light camera and action thing that we see in movie 
hopefully that was actually coming back in my mind again and again. And uh, uh, hopefully as, as Professor Inanda mentioned that both of us are really learner, we are also learning and we seriously look forward to your feedback. We don't decide on the failure or success of this workshop uh, because for me, you know, success is not the position where you stand, it is the direction in which you look. So we look forward uh, to your feedback and we keep sharing our feedback, we try to improve ourselves to whatever way and we should definitely try to, you know, do best uh, to, you know, uh, share our ideas with the students because I feel students are much smarter these days than me. So I always try to learn from them whatever queries, whatever, you know, complaints they have and try to improve ourselves. So again, uh, big thank to this e-outreach team, okay. Uh, they are really wonderful. I mean, I was totally afraid to in this setup to teach because there was no blackboard for us. Both of us was a bit scared. Uh, but finally, you know, it went well actually. I think it went well. And we again, uh, thank you all. Thanks to Mukta Madam also. Always trying to, you know, kind of convince us to go ahead. And uh, then you decide, you know, uh, try to slow down and try to be more interactive. Professor Phatak is not here. Uh, so again, thanks to him. And we did hear, of course, about uh, your this thing that can we come up with more courses, okay. Uh, so uh, yes, I think uh, uh, I was just talking to my colleague if it is possible to offer strength of materials or structural analysis and we'll try to definitely, you know, give it a thought, okay. So strength of materials and structural analysis, these are the two courses we may be able to you know, take over, maybe some other colleagues in the department may be able to join, even from other departments as well. Okay, so thank you all, and we really look forward to your uh, feedback again. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And now we come to the uh, concluding segment of today's uh, valedictory. As you know, Professor Fatak is not here, so it is uh, my pleasant duty to give the vote of thanks for this uh, workshop. I start with a very big thank you to Professor Chandrasekharan uh, for agreeing to our last minute uh, request to become the chief guest for the valedictory function. Thank you very much, sir. It was indeed a, a great pleasure to listen to you. What you said is not really, uh, is not relevant only to teachers of engineering mechanics, but I think it is very relevant to all teachers across the world. Thank you very much. A big thank you again to Professor Gaitonde for his enthusiasm and uh, unstinting continued support to uh, what we do here. He, he was the one to suggest uh, that he go over to Bengaluru and uh, bring Professor Chandrasekharan to Amrita. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And again, a thank you to Amrita as well for agreeing at the last moment to uh, make all the arrangements for the valedictory. Thank you, Amrita. We look forward to your support in the future as well. And now, uh, let me thank the coordinating uh, faculty of engineering mechanics. Thank you very much, Professor Inamdar and Professor Banerjee on behalf of uh, Professor Fatak. I'd like to request my uh, colleagues, uh, Mrs. Jaya Gaitonde, to offer a bouquet to Professor Inamdar, just as a small token. Sajjan, <laughs> Professor Banerjee. Thank you very much for your energy and the enthusiasm that you showed throughout the workshop. Uh, I was watching it from various centers and it was really uh, great the way it transferred across, you know, to various parts of the country. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the uh, TAs of both Professor Zinamdar and uh, Banerjee, thank you very much for all your support. I also thank the NME ICT department of, uh, sorry, uh, uh, which comes under MHRD for their uh, support uh, in conducting these workshops across the uh, country. I'd also like to thank CDEEP again for giving us this infrastructure. I'd like to especially thank the eStudio team for making the workshops happen. 
the sysadmin team for making all the quizzes and uh, everything uh, uh, necessary, uh, all the other infrastructure that is necessary available to you all. The clicker team, the clicker team has been working day and night to make the clicker quizzes successful. I'm very happy to say that out of the 7,500 participants registered, we have received at least 3,500 responses so far. So uh, we have a 50% uh, result. Thank you, Clicker team. And the Akash team as well, who has uh, helped uh, with the tablets. Uh, the spoken tutorial people are not here today, but they have also contributed in a very useful way by giving this session on Scilab. I'd like to thank all senior managers, especially all those who made trips to far off places for our surprise visits. I hope there were surprise, surprises to all of you, and I hope that you will uh, improve upon their suggestions. And finally, a very big thank you to all my colleagues in the accounts team and the workshop admin team. Thank you very much for making this workshop such a big success. Thank you all. So we come to the end of uh, the valedictory session for uh, this workshop. Thank you.